YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another video. Now that we've had our first official look at Doctor Who series 13, it's time to start jumping into theories and everything we sort of know about this series. We've been waiting for so long for any scraps of news, and yesterday we had quite a lot of stuff thrown at us. So I'm going to kick off all of these theory videos with this one today, which states that Vinda is actually the classic Who companion, Romana. Now, if you're able to cast your minds back to the 1970s, we had the companion Romana. There were two incarnations of Romana, one played by Mary Tam and one played by Lala Ward. For those of you who don't know a bit of background on Romana, she's a Time Lord, well, at the time, Time Lady. She has her own sonic screwdriver. She's basically an equal match to the Doctor. Now, the last we canonically in the TV show saw of this character, she was going off into East Space with K9. But that doesn't mean that she can't come back in the future. Okay, so we've got two Time Lord characters, one from the 70s and one from the present day. Why do I think they're the same person? Well, we're going to start with the weakest point. Romana Vinda Vandalunna, that's like her full name. I can't say it because I've not got a clue how to, but it's on screen. That's her full name. Now, a shortened, abbreviated version could be Vinda. Maybe she thinks it's simpler to change her name to just Vinda. Also, we know canonically some Time Lords, like, when they change gender, they change their title and their name. So the Master became Missy, so maybe Romana wants to change her name to Vinda. I mean, that's quite a weak point, but... Mm. What also makes it likely is that Chris Chibnall was a big fan of the show back in the 70s. Romana is a companion that he would have grown up with, so naturally, maybe he wants to put her into his new series. Also, it's likely that Vinda is a Time Lord, because from the ship we've seen him on, it looks quite Gallifreyan. If you look on the thing that the Doctor, Dan, and Yaz are stood on, it looks like the Seal of Rassilon, and I'm assuming that is his spaceship, because in the interview panel, he started talking about how that picture is from one of his favourite sets. He also started talking about how he has loads of dials and buttons and controls similar to Jodie's TARDIS to play around with. So, it's looking likely he has his own TARDIS. Now, Romana could easily just get her own TARDIS. She's a Time Lord, it makes sense. Okay, that's all well and good, but how do we know that Vinda is actually a Time Lord? Well, in the interview panel thing, he literally said, my heart corrected himself to heart, sir. So, hearts, Time Lord, two hearts? Maybe he's a Time Lord? If he's a Time Lord, he's probably Romana. Now for the most damning piece of evidence. We have this tweet on screen from Piggin T Break on Twitter. Go and follow him. Uh, he says that Vinda is definitely Romana, because we've seen the word Fred on the Doctor Who mystery page. Okay, so, context to what that means. There's currently this whole search going on to find out possibly an air date or possibly something for the upcoming Series 13, because at the end of the trailer, there was a little website link hidden at the bottom of the screen. When you go to this website, you need a password, and for some reason, the word Fred is put at the bottom of the screen. Now you might be asking, Fred, what relevance does that have to Doctor Who? I mean, I, I was asking the exact same question. And don't worry, it's not Fred, as in... Ugh. Back in Romana's first story, the Ribos, I think that's how you say it, Ribos, Ribos operation? Romana introduces herself as Romana Vietnamana, whatever her name is, and the Doctor says, Well, I'm very sorry about that. Is there anything we can do? Which is a funny line, by the way. He gives her two options of shortening her name to either Romana or Fred, and she wants to be called Fred. Now, the website has Fred, on the thing. Romana wanted to be called Fred back in the day. So, is Vinda Romana? Possibly. Even if you just look at Vinda's uniform, it looks quite Gallifreyan. It's got those weird insignias and badges and stuff. So, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I think Vinda is Romana. Now, I'm not the only person that thinks this. As I've said, there's a bunch of people on Twitter. Go and have a look if you want. But yeah, 
that's all the evidence we have so far. If there's anything I've missed, please do get in contact, comment it in the comments down below. Tell me if you would like to see Vinda turn out to be the classic companion Romana, or you'd just like something completely new. Anyway, that does wrap up today's short theory video. I hope you did enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because we have a Doctor Who fan film, Echoes End, coming very, very soon. We've almost finished production, and I can't wait to share it with you. Thank you for watching, and and goodbye. Don't forget to click below. Subscribe to the Confused Addy Pose.